socket secure is an Internet protocol that routes network packets between a client and server through a proxy server. SOCKS5 additionally provides authentication so only authorized users may access a server. Practically, a SOC server proxies TCP connections to an arbitrary IP address, and provides a means for UDP packets to be forwarded. SOX performs at LEF5 of the OSI model. History The protocol was originally developed designed by David Cobblers, a system administrator of MIPS computer systems. After MIPS was taken over by Silicon Graphics in 1992, Cobblers presented a paper on SOX at that year's Uzenix Security Symposium, making SOX publicly available. The protocol was extended to version 4 by Ying Dao Li of NEC. The SOX reference architecture and client are owned by Permio Technologies, a spin-off from NEC. The SOCKS5 protocol was originally a security protocol that made firewalls and other security products easier to administer. It was approved by the IETF in 1996. The protocol was developed in collaboration with Aventail Corporation, which markets the technology outside of Asia. Usage SOX is a de facto standard for circuit level gateways. Another use of SOX is as a circumvention tool, allowing traffic to bypass Internet filtering to access content otherwise blocked, for example, by governments, workplaces, schools, and country specific web services. Some SSH suites, such as OpenSSH, support dynamic port forwarding that allows the user to create a local SOX proxy. This can free the user from the limitations of connecting only to a predefined remote port and server. The Tor Onion proxy software presents a SOX interface to its clients. Comparison to HTTP proxying, SOX operates at a lower level than HTTP proxying. SOX uses a handshake protocol to inform the proxy software about the connection that the client is trying to make, and then acts as transparently as possible, whereas a SOX proxy may interpret and rewrite headers. Though HTTP proxying has a different usage model in mind, the connect method allows for forwarding TCP connections. However, SOX proxies can also forward UDP traffic and work in reverse, while HTTP proxies cannot. HTTP proxies are traditionally more aware of the HTTP protocol, performing higher level filtering. SOX, Bill wishes to communicate with Jane over the Internet, but a firewall between them exists on his network. Bill is not authorized to communicate with Jane directly. So, instead, Bill connects to the SOX proxy on his network, informing it about the connection he wishes to make to Jane. The SOX proxy opens a connection through the firewall and facilitates the communication between Bill and Jane. For more information on the technical specifics of the SOX protocol, see the sections below. HTTP, Bill wishes to download a web page from Jane, who runs a web server. Bill cannot directly connect to Jane's server, as a firewall has been put in place on his network. In order to communicate with the server, Bill connects to his network's HTTP proxy. His web browser communicates directly with the proxy in exactly the same way it would communicate directly with Jane's server if it could. That is, it sends a standard HTTP request header. The HTTP proxy itself connects to Jane's server, and then transmits back to Bill any data that Jane's server returns. Protocol, SOCKS4 a typical SOCKS4 connection request looks like this, SOX client to SOX server, field 1, SOX version number, 1 byte, must be 0x04 for this version, field 2, command code, 1 byte, 0x01 equals establish a TCP IP stream connection, 0x02 equals establish a TCP IP port binding. Field 3, network byte order port number, 2 bytes. Field 4, network byte order IP address, 4 bytes. Field 5, the user ID string, variable length, terminated with a null, SOX server to SOX client, field 1, null byte, field 2, status, 1 byte, 0x5a equals request granted, 0x5b equals request rejected or failed, 
0x5 C equals request failed because client is not running IDE NTD, 0x5 D equals request failed because client's IDE NTD could not confirm the user ID string in the request. Field 3, 2 arbitrary bytes, that should be ignored. Field 4, 4 arbitrary bytes, that should be ignored. This is a SOCKS4 request to connect Fred to 66.102.7.9980. The server replies with an OK. Client 0x04-0x01-0x00-x50-0x42-0x66-0x07-0x63-0x72-0x65-0x64-0x00. The last field is Fred in ASCII followed by a null byte. Server, 0x00x5-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-x-0x-x-x-0x-x-x-0
0x03 Euro 0x7F, methods assigned by IANA, 0x80 Euro 0x FE, methods reserved for private use. The initial greeting from the client is, field 1, SOX version number, field 2, number of authentication methods supported, 1 byte, field 3, authentication methods, variable length, 1 byte per method supported, the server's choice is communicated, field 1, SOX version, 1 byte, field 2, chosen authentication method, 1 byte, or 0xff if no acceptable methods were offered, the subsequent authentication is method dependent. Username and password authentication is described in RFC 1929, for username password authentication the client's authentication request is, field 1, version number, 1 byte, field 2, username length, 1 byte, field 3, username, field 4, password length, 1 byte, field 5, password, server response for username password authentication, field 1, version. 1 byte, field 2, status code, 1 byte, 0 x 0 equals success, any other value equals failure, connection must be closed. The client's connection request is, field 1, SOX version number, 1 byte, field 2, command code, 1 byte, 0 x 0 1 equals establish a TCP IP stream connection, 0 x 0 2 equals establish a TCP IP port binding, 0x03 equals associate a UDP port. Field 3, reserved, must be 0x00. Field 4, address type, 1 byte, 0x01 equals IPv4 address, 0x03 equals domain name, 0x04 equals IPv6 address. Field 5, destination address of, 4 bytes for IPv4 address, 1 byte of name length followed by the name for domain name, 16 bytes for IPv6 address. Field 6, port number in a network byte order, 2 bytes, server response, field 1, SOX protocol version, 1 byte, field 2, status, 1 byte, 0 x 0 equals request granted, 0 x 0 1 equals general failure, 0 x 0 2 equals connection not allowed by rule set, 0 x 0 3 equals network unreachable. 0x04 equals host unreachable, 0x05 equals connection refused by destination host, 0x06 equals TTL expired, 0x07 equals command not supported slash protocol error, 0x08 equals address type not supported. Field 3, reserved, must be 0x00. Field 4, address type, 1 byte, 0x01 equals IPv4 address. 0x03 equals domain name, 0x04 equals IPv6 address. Field 5, destination address of, 4 bytes for IPv4 address, 1 byte of name length followed by the name for domain name, 16 bytes for IPv6 address. Field 6, network byte order port number, 2 bytes, software, servers, Dante is a circuit-level SOC server that can be used to provide convenient and secure network connectivity, requiring only the host Dante runs on to have external network connectivity. OpenSSH allows dynamic creation of tunnels, specified via a subset of the SOX protocol, supporting the connect command. Putty is a Win32 SSH client that supports local creation of SOX tunnels through remote SSH servers. Sun Java System Web Proxy Server is a caching proxy server running on Solaris, Linux and Windows servers that supports HTTPS, NSAPI 1.0 filters, dynamic reconfiguration, SOC KSV5 and reverse proxy. Wingate is a multi-protocol proxy server and SOC server for Microsoft Windows which supports SOC KS4, SOC KS4A and SOC KS5. It also supports handing over SOX connections to the HTTP proxy, so can cache and scan HTTP over SOX. SS5 SS5 is a SOX server that implements the SOX v4 and v5 protocol. Tor is a SOX server that conceals a client from its destination. Nylon is a small SOX server supporting SOC KS4, SOC KS4A, 
SOCKS5 protocols as well as a mirror mode. SRELAY is a small SOCKS4 slash SOCKS5 proxy server. OddSox is a small SOCKS5 server that supports web based authentication. SSOX is a package which contains a SOX5 server implements RFC 1928 and RFC 1929, a reverse SOX server and client, a netcat like tool, and a SOX5 relay. Clients Client software must have native SOX support in order to connect through SOX. There are programs that allow to circumvent this limitation proxifiers, comparison of proxifiers, translating proxies, polypo, a fast, lightweight, forwarding and caching proxy server with IPv6 support. Open source running on GNU Linux, OpenWRT, Windows, Mac OS X, and FreeBSD. Almost any web browser can use it. Provoxy, Socket, References. External links, Draft IETF after SOX CHAP. Challenge Handshake Authentication Protocol for SOX v5, RFC 3089, a SOX-based IPv6 slash IPv4 gateway mechanism, RFC 1961, GSSAPI Authentication Method for SOX version 5, RFC 1929, Username Password Authentication for SOX v5, RFC 1928, SOX Protocol version 5, SOX, a protocol for TCP proxy across firewalls, SOX protocol version 4, SOCKS5 proxy tester.